lot of people have been churning and spinning, a lot of events going on around the world and even locally from storms to politics that are ripping families apart, all kinds of stuff. We're not going to go there. What we are going to talk about for just a moment or so is leadership. And leadership comes from all kinds of places. It's not necessarily the people who hold office or sit in the corner office. Leadership can come from places where you least expect, like a comedian. I'm sure many of you have heard of her, Wanda Sykes. I think she's brilliant and hysterical. And she's on a tour now called Please and Thank You. That's her tour. And you're thinking, that's kind of an odd name for an edgy comedian and tour. Well, not really. Why she's doing this tour and called it this is because she has recognized a breakdown in societal norms. That's right. Soft skills, right? People can't communicate. People aren't respecting leaders. People who are in leadership positions are not honoring their office and their position of responsibility. We've lost the plot, right? We're unkind to each other. We're cruel. We're violent in a lot of examples, too. And in her tour, she's talking about a couple of things. One of them is this whole thing about social norms and how she judges if she's going to be friends with that person based on how they interact with wait staff and support staff. Have a listen. We are back with the great Wanda Sykes, who is on tour. Uh, the Please and Thank You Tour. Why yes. is it called the Please and Thank You Tour? Because I believe that we've gotten away from, like, the social norms of please and thank you. You know, we don't, that's not how we you know, like speak to each other anymore. So it's very important to me. Like that's, that's how I determine my friendships. Like if I just met you and we go out to eat and the waiter comes by and everything and, and, and you don't say please and thank you for stuff, we ain't gonna be friends. Yeah, that's a, you know what, that's a good indicator. I, no. We've heard about this through different companies that they've gone and they've had executives who have taken their rising stars and candidates out for lunch and they look at how that candidate interacts with the support staff to help make their decision, right? Because again, it comes down to soft skills and leadership. How are you behaving to others? Are you supporting them or you just think you're entitled? Like, yeah, garçon, another coffee, right? Okay. Here's another thing that she said, which was like, right, mind-blowing in just her perception of it, but still really spot on, right? This is what's happening. We as a society, we've lost the ability to communicate. And if we can't communicate, we can't connect. You can't connect if you can't share ideas without getting into fisticuffs, right? And just saying, I'm right, I'm right, I'm. we've lost it. Listen to this clip from her. Well, this weekend will be my first time out since the election, but I know, um, yeah, I saw my, my sales went up too, so I know people, they, they want it. You know, we need, we need to laugh, and the thing is we need to um, talk to each other. I mean, I think that's the big thing, is to, to get more involved in your community, in your local community. Put your damn phone down. You know, like we, don't, we don't talk to each other. No, yeah, you know, we don't. We... Don't, we, we we spend more time listening to podcasts. We we listen to other people having conversations. <laughs> it's funny the way you put it like that. that. We do. Because yeah. we're not having, so we, we... Right? Exactly. We are so far down the rabbit hole about not communicating that we are tuning in asynchronously to listen to other people communicate. So what? Come on, people. Let's all get there. Let's work together to communicate. Let's uphold our leaders. If you're uncertain as a leader, come see me, come see somebody else. Let's talk about how you lead through uncertainty, how you up-level your communication and your soft skills so that you can connect with people.